Hey guys today's video is on the air fryer's really good for health. The air fryer has become an indispensable device for every family, there are many types on the market so we can choose the right one for the family. But I think not everyone knows its disadvantages to health. I'm not saying that air fryers are completely unhealthy. But the way we are overusing it will cause many bad things to our health. So in this video, I will point out the advantages and especially disadvantages of air fryers for health. At the end of this video, I recommend 6 dishes that should be used in an air fryer to create delicious and healthy dishes for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a like and share and subscribe. Now let's get started. Before getting into the pros and cons of an air fryer for the health of you and your family, let's take a look how the air fryer works. Simply put, air fryers don't actually fry food. Actual frying involves immersing food in hot oil. The hot oil dehydrates the surface of the ingredients, and the Maillard reaction makes the food crispy and delicious. Instead, air fryers mimic the effect of frying by blowing hot air on and around food. Air fryer's heating element is often an electric coil, much like the ones you'll find on some electric stoves. A fan sits just above the coil and blows air down onto the food. The hot air surrounds the food, making it crispy and golden. If the process of cooking food by blowing hot air around an enclosed chamber sounds familiar, that's because convection ovens work the same way. In essence, air fryers are countertop convection ovens. What are the benefits of using an air fryer for health? The main benefit of air frying is reducing the number of calories in fried foods, thanks to the reduced amount of oil needed for air frying. An air fryer is very good news for anyone who cannot yet part with their favorite fry treats, but is actively trying to reduce their calorie intake. The other big benefit of using an air fryer is that it lowers the risks associated with consuming acrylamides contained in fried foods. Acrylamides are the byproducts of frying and have been linked to some cancers. A study has found that air frying reduced acrylamide content by about 90% compared with conventional deep oil frying. Finally, there is no denying that air fryers are easy and convenient. Food preparation is quicker in an air fryer than in a conventional oven and it's less messy. In comparison with deep fat fryers, you're not at risk of scalding yourself using hot oil. What are the disadvantages of an air fryer for health? Despite the many reasons to buy an air fryer, they are not without their cons. One of the biggest cons of air fryers is that they, paradoxically, can prevent people from consuming oils that are good for health, especially olive oil. Vigliano explains that while using less oil is often seen as a benefit of air fryers, this isn't always a good thing. High-quality oils, such as avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oil, can be great at helping absorb fat-soluble vitamins found in food. So, to use good oils in your air fryer, just avoid using cheap vegetable oil used in deep-fat fryers. The other drawback is that the air frying process is not completely understood, and may also come with health risks. According to Medical News Today, while air fryers reduce the likelihood of acrylamide formation, other potentially harmful compounds could still form. Apparently, this is especially the case when using them to cook fish. Finally, air fryers may give people trying to eat more healthily a false sense of security in eating fried foods too often. Is the air fryer really good for health? The answer will always depend on what you're comparing the air fryer to other methods of frying or a diet that cuts out fried foods altogether. If you regularly consume fried foods and are simply looking to replace your deep fat fryer with a healthier option, then an air fryer is definitely the way to go. Lisa Richards, a nutritionist and author of The Candida Diet reminds readers that regular consumption of fried food raises the risk of heart disease by increasing bad cholesterol, blood pressure, and obesity risk. Replacing homemade fried foods with air fried foods can significantly decrease these risk factors. Air frying rather than deep frying gives you food that tastes very similar but contains fewer calories, which is great if you're trying to reduce your overall calorie intake. However, air frying is still not healthy in the same way baking in an oven, and it's certainly in no way healthier than eating fresh vegetables, for example. What you cook is still as important as how you're cooking it. 
Lahana Vigliano, certified clinical nutritionist and CEO of Nuvitru, points out that you should still aim to move away from packaged processed foods, even if you are using an air fryer. It's important to use an air fryer with healthy nutritious food, and not just heating up processed frozen food. This is the key to making the air fryer experience healthy. According to USDA, over 40% of potatoes consumed by Americans come from frozen products, and while it's healthier to cook a packet of frozen French fries in an air fryer rather than in a deep fat fryer, it's even better to air fry fresh potatoes. What's best to cook in an air fryer good for health? With my experience, the best thing to cook in an air fryer is bacon because it comes out crispy, perfectly cooked and less fatty than when cooked under a grill or in a pan. I think fruit is wonderful cooked in an air fryer, particularly bananas, which caramelize beautifully if put into the air fryer sliced or whole and brushed lightly with oil or melted butter. In addition, here are the top 6 dishes that should be cooked in an air fryer to get delicious and especially healthy food. 1. Crispy Roast Potatoes Is there anything more palate-pleasing than a crispy roast potato? I think not. I love to make our Sunday dinner roast potatoes in the air fryer, simply parboil the potatoes first, allow to drain and dry out. Then, fluff with a fork, season and place in a small tin or tray in the air fryer with a spoonful of duck fat. Roast on 390 degrees Fahrenheit per 200 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, turning slash shaking occasionally to encourage even browning. 2. A Succulent Roast Chicken a moist yet crispy chicken is easy to achieve in an air fryer with a rotisserie function, and you can also do this in some of the best toaster ovens. A small whole chicken can roast beautifully in 60 minutes. You'll be left with a delicious roast chicken that's got a crispy skin. 3. Crispy Bacon Vegetarians look away now. Bacon is said to be a delicious option for air frying. To air fry bacon, this is the best, place the bacon in a single layer in the basket or rack and cook on high for 5 to 8 minutes. The bacon will be browned and beautifully crisp. 4. Frozen Chicken Goujons An air fryer is a versatile investment and is great for cooking frozen food quickly on days when you're particularly time poor. Chicken goujons or tenders are a lovely option and should take around 8 to 12 minutes to get nice and crisp from frozen at around 400 degrees Fahrenheit per 205 degrees Celsius. 5. Reheated Leftovers I am not once to waste food, and an air fryer can ensure you make the most of your takeaways and indulge in fast food dinners. 6. French Fries One of the best things about an air fryer is the ability to indulge in the odd guilty pleasure with a lower fat intake. Air fry for around 12 to 15 minutes, tossing halfway through. You can check the cooking process to see how they are coming along by simply pulling the air fryer basket out to look. Want a healthier option? Make sweet potato fries instead and season with a little paprika, salt and pepper for extra taste before air frying. So that's all for our video about the pros and cons of air fryer. Air fryers really good for health that you may want to look into right away. Thanks for watching if you enjoyed our video and found it helpful please do like comment and share this subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.